Zooming and panning are ways to navigate around an image that you'll use often as you work on images in Photoshop. To practice working with the zoom and pan controls, open this image from the tutorial practice files, or open a large image of your own. Zooming means changing the magnification of the image, as you might do if you were looking at the sky through a telescope. You may want to zoom in for a closer view of part of an image, or you may want to zoom out to see more of an image on your screen. The most straightforward way to zoom is to select the Zoom tool toward the bottom of the Tools panel here. Then go up to the Options bar for the Zoom tool, where you'll find a plus icon for zooming in and a minus icon for zooming out. Let's start with the plus icon activated, which is the default. Then to zoom in, move into the image and click. And each time you click, you'll zoom in a little further. To zoom back out to see more of the image again, go back to the Options bar and this time select the minus icon, and then click several times in the image to zoom back out. If you want to zoom in again, you have to go back to the options bar, click the plus icon, and click in the image to zoom in again. Now you may get tired of going up to the options bar every time you want to switch between zooming in and zooming out, so here's a shortcut that will help you. When the zoom in option is active as it is now, you can switch to zooming out by holding the Option key on your keyboard if you're on a Mac, or the Alt key on Windows. Hold down that key, and then click in the image, and that will automatically switch you back to zooming out. Then, release your finger from the Option or Alt key, and you're switched back to zooming in, and so you can click in the image to zoom in again. The Zoom tool has a couple of options in its Options bar that you can use to move quickly to zoom levels that you use often. The Fit Screen option here in the Options bar comes in handy when you're zoomed in like this and you want to get back to a view of the entire image. Just click the Fit Screen option and the entire image fits itself into your document window. Another useful option is this 100% option. Clicking this zooms you into 100% view of the image, which is the best way to view an image when you're checking it for sharpness. Now, I'm working on a small screen, and this image is pretty large, so when I zoom into 100%, I can't see the whole image on my screen, although you may not experience the same thing if you're working on a large monitor. So if I want to see a different part of this image at this zoom level, I'm going to need to move the image around in my document window. That's called panning, and it's done with another tool, the Hand tool. So I'm going to go back to the Tools panel, and I'm going to select the Hand tool there which is just above the Zoom tool. Then I'll move into the image and notice that my cursor is now changed to a hand icon. I'll click, drag, and move the image in the document window to a place that I want to see, and then I'll release my mouse. When I'm done checking the sharpness here and I want to go back to view the entire image on screen, I'll go up to the Options bar for the Hand tool, and there I'll see the same Fit Screen option that we had for the Zoom tool. So I can just click Fit Screen in the Hand Tool Options bar, and that takes me back to see the entire image in my document window. Let me show you another way to zoom. Instead of clicking, you can do Continuous Zoom by holding your mouse down on the image. I'll go back and get the Zoom tool in the Tools panel, and then I'm going to click and hold in the image. And the image zooms in continuously. If you zoom in really far like this, you can see the pixels that are the building blocks of an image in Photoshop. By the way, the size of these pixels can affect the image quality of a print, which is why image resolution is an important topic, especially for printing, something we'll talk more about when we cover resizing an image later in this series. I'm going to go up to the Options bar and click Fit Screen so I can see the entire image on my screen again. One more thing, let's say that you're working with another tool, maybe the Brush tool, and you're painting in a small area, and you don't want to switch out of the brush tool over to the zoom tool just to zoom. Well, there's a shortcut that you can use instead of the zoom tool, and that is to hold the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC as you press the plus key on your keyboard. And every time you do that, that will zoom you in. If you want to zoom back out, hold the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC and press the minus key on your keyboard and that will zoom you back out. So that's an introduction to zooming and panning that I hope will help you to navigate your images as you're working on them in Photoshop.
To finish up with this lesson, you can close this image without saving. 